Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a collective haul to show you from Bath & Body Works. Um, to all my US subscribers, I am a Canadian, so therefore I shop at the Canadian stores. At Bath & Body Works, the price points are different in comparison to the US. Um, but um, this haul is not a very large one, so uh, and this is um, over the course of two visits to my local store. So I decided to combine everything. Um, so on August the 25th, I ended up going into my local Bath & Body Works store after work uh, one day just to do some retail therapy. And that day there was a three wick uh, candle sale going on. I was really good. I only picked up one candle and this is the one I had picked up. This one is called Midnight Cocktails. Uh, the scent notes for this one is cedarwood, clove, and tobacco. Uh, I've already burned some of this and I really like this one. Um, this one's more on the masculine uh, side uh, but it is sweet. Uh, the tobacco note um, is sweet and it's kind of to me this is kind of perfumey in a way uh, it is definitely uh, in my opinion it's definitely a um, Halloween candle so I definitely like that one um, and yeah so that is the only candle I had picked up um, and that one um, the uh, normally uh, the three wood candles in Canada are $27.50 um, and they were on sale for $14.95. I used a coupon, uh, that was a $10 off of your, $10 off 40. Uh, so what they did, they just split the, um, coupon between the, uh, three items I had picked up that day. Uh, and the candle came out to $11.25. So that was a good deal. And next I had picked up a fine fragrance mist. Um, I should have picked this one up uh, the last fine fragrance mist sale, but I did not. Um, but I picked it up that day. Um, I paid a little bit more for it, but that's fine. I still used a coupon, so I did save a little, uh, some money. Um, this is Sweater Weather. I talked about that one in, uh, in a previous video. Um, this uh, is my first time picking up Sweater Weather in a Fine Fragrance Mist. I've had Sweater Weather in a um, candle. And uh, the candle is different from the Fine Fragrance Mist, uh, I feel. The candle, um, I get a little bit more uh, eucalyptus. And this one, I do not. Um... The set notes for this one are not on the back. Uh, well, at least here in Canada, they're not on the back. Um, because here in Canada, this is considered as a faceted bottle. Um, and the bottle here, there are some embossed leaves. It look The leaves look like they're falling. I, love, I do love the packaging. But the set notes are for this one, Sun Crisped Apple, Autumn Leaves, Orchard Woods. Um, so this one, um, it's not a sweet apple, uh, fine fragrance mist. This one is more on the woodsy side. Um, and this one is definitely a fall fine fragrance mist. Um, but of course you can wear this all year round. Um, and, uh, I love apple notes, uh, but like I said, this is more on the woodsy apple. And there is my cat, Sophia. Uh, she's just visiting and she's saying hello and roaming around. So, yeah. So, she, like I said, she'll, uh, in the previous video, she, you may see my cat, uh, Sophia, make an appearance in some of my videos. But, yes, um, I do have a black kitty. Uh, she's three years old. Um, she's just keeping me company. She likes to follow me around. Anyways, she's just silly. Um, so anyways, back to Sweater Weather. Um, Sweater Weather um, has been released previously in a fine fragrance mist um, um, for many years. Um, and there's been two versions of Sweater Weather. 
of course, the fall version, and there has been a winter um, version. Um, <clears throat> now, um, I don't remember the winter version of Sweater Weather, of how that smells like, but it's definitely different from the fall version, which you see here in front of you. Um, and I do like it, and I'm happy that I had purchased that. And lastly, I had picked up this little guy. This one um, I missed out on last year, <clears throat> but I decided to pick him up this year. He came back. This is the ghosty pocket back. So he's adorable. I love him. So cute. Uh, so yeah, that is my haul for that day. Um, and uh, since then, I did uh, end up going back to my uh, local store. Um, I actually went into my local store yesterday, which was September the 2nd. Uh, they had a body care uh, sale going on. Uh, and it took place um, here in Canada and in the U.S. It's still happening. I'm filming this on, on Sunday. <clears throat> um, September the 3rd. Um, <clears throat> so here in Canada, it's only taking place for two days uh, in store and online. Um, the uh, I believe in the US, um, the price points are different in comparison to the in comparison to Canada. Here in Canada, the uh, price point was uh, or is a little bit simpler. They made it simple. Um, <clears throat> the body care was all for $5.95, $5.95. Um, so um, that included fine fragrance mist, body lotions, body creams, um, <clears throat> and it was select uh, products. Um, now the Halloween was only 50%. Uh, so um, I did not pick up any of the Halloween. I don't need any more of the Halloween. I picked up my backup of Vampire Blood with the last Fine Fragrance Mist sale, so I'm good with that. Um, but I wanted to check out the new um, fragrances that they have out. Um, and uh, I didn't go too crazy. Again, um, I purchased quite a bit as of recent, so I'm good. Um, but uh, the Bath & Body Works had released two new vanilla uh, fragrances uh, and I, I wanted to check them out. Um, so the, f the one I had picked up is Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. Now this one, um, the fine, fine fragrance notes are warm bourbon, dark fruit, vanilla liqueur. The description is, drift into your cozy place and embrace this comforting vanilla fragrance with a delightful twist. So, to me, cozy vanilla bourbon is a distant cousin to Bonfire Bash. I was hoping that Bath & Body Works would re-release um, Bonfire Bash, but they, I don't see it. Being released during the fall season, I don't know if it's going to come back. If it's going to come back during the winter, I'm hoping because I really like that one. And I keep missing out on it because every time I've gone to my store, it's always sold out. Uh, but um, this is a close cousin, I think. But it's it's very light. Um, I do like this one, but I feel like Bath and Body Works could have done a better job with cozy vanilla bourbon. Um, the other one that um, they have, it's in similar packaging. It's, I believe it's called Fresh um, fresh Vanilla Blossoms. Uh, that one is, I don't know, I smelt it in store. It was very off-putting to me, so I immediately put it down. I'm not going to purchase that one. I don't like that one at all. Um, it's, out of the two, this one is your best bet, I think. This one's a little bit stronger. Um, but like I said, the Bath & Body Works could have done a better job with the new vanillas. Um, and uh, I love vanilla fragrances. Uh, but um, yeah, I was hoping this one would be top-notch. But it's it's okay. So, um, But this one is, I think, would be good for layering. 
it's got that sm smoky um, note to it, which I like. Um, but um, I've heard people online or <laughs> compare this to Marshmallow um, Fireside, which I do have in my collection. I'm sorry, I didn't bring it out to show you guys. But um, this one, Cozy Vanilla Bourbon, is nothing like Marshmallow Fireside. Or, uh, I'm sorry, it's called... Um, Fireside Flurry, sorry, uh, not Marshmallow Fireside, but it, but however, um, it it's a it's almost like in the same family, um, but uh, yeah, this one is not is nothing like Fireside Flurries. Uh, Fireside Flurries has a, a lavender note, uh, and it's got um, it almost smells kind of fluffy. Uh, this one does not. This one does not have a lavender note. So, I don't know. <laughs> to each their own. I don't know. People's noses are different. But anyways, uh, that's my thoughts on it. Um, my opinion, if you guys are looking for a decent vanilla uh, from Bath & Body Works that's available right now in stores, that's accessible, and I would go with Warm Vanilla Sugar. This one is definitely stronger than Cozy Vanilla Bourbon. And uh, Warm Vanilla Sugar is, the scent notes are intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, creamy sandalwood. So this is an older uh, vanilla, a fine fragrance uh, from uh, Bath & Body Works. Like I said, your best bet is to go with this one. That's just my opinion. Um, so that's uh, Cozy Vanilla Bourbon uh, and the next thing I had purchased um, was a repackage. Um, this one is a, a um, I've picked this one up before in the past during the winter uh, SAS uh, or the last one. Uh, this one is Sweet Whiskey. I prefer the packaging um, for this year. Last year's version was in the faceted. Um, don't get me wrong, I do like the color of the faceted. I love purple. It's it's kind of like it has like a lavender purplish color. I do like it, but I prefer this year's um, version of the packaging. Um, it I just like how it it invokes um, fall. So um, I and the Set notes for sweet whiskey is golden amber, vanilla infused whiskey, sweet red berries. So this one, um, it does have a, a slight boozy note to it, but it's very sweet. Um, it's definitely fall. Um, and um, I did smell the other ones that are part of this collection this year. Um, like... Um, but I don't know, it just, I was not a fan, so I just stuck with Sweet Whiskey. Um, so yeah, that's Sweet Whiskey. Uh, and the last thing I had purchased is uh, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte in the shower gel. Um, and I absolutely love this one. Um, and uh, the, uh, as I mentioned, the Fine Fragrance Mists were on sale for <clears throat> $5.95. They're normally uh, priced at $17.50 here, here in Canada. I used a 25% off of your entire purchase uh, coupon, which is this one. I have a couple extra. Um, and uh, I saved $11.55 and it came out to $4.46 for the sweet whiskey. Uh, the um, cozy vanilla bourbon, uh, again with the coupon, uh, it came out to $4.47. Uh, and the shower gel, uh, they're normally priced at $16.50 here, here in Canada. Um, and uh, with the coupon and everything, I paid $4.46. So, um, 
And I was also given another coupon. Uh, this one uh, is good for um, from October 2nd to October 22nd. Um, yes, um, Bath & Body Works will be releasing their Christmas candles and, and, and I'm assuming body care very soon in stores. Um, I've seen a sneak preview of their candles. Um, they do have a new signature scent coming out in body care, uh, which is this in the perfume bottle. Um, this one, I believe it's called Luminous. I don't know the scent notes um, offhand, but to me, from what I could see, it's probably going to be a uh, fragrance that's more on the perfumey side. And I'm probably going to skip out on it only because I have quite a few that are like more on the perfumey um, side. And I just, I'm just looking for a little bit more variety right now so uh and right now i'm actually quite comfortable with my collection where it is right now um so i'm just looking forward to um the christmas traditions like uh, vanilla bean noel twisted peppermint uh, and uh, winter candy apple which i probably will upgrade so um with a couple of those so um I'm looking forward to to that. Um, <clears throat> so um, yeah, that is my haul, guys. Um, I'm thinking of doing a um, an upcoming video, uh, possibly towards the end of the year, of uh, my fine fragrance mist from Bath and Body Works because my collection has grown quite a bit um, since my last video. Um, it's not to brag, but um, I've, I just want to show you guys um, how my collection has grown. Um, like I mentioned in a previous video, I can go through many years not buying any body care specifically from Bath & Body Works. And then all of a sudden I'll just go into a surge. Um, and that's where I'm at right now. But I am slowing down. And uh, so um, this year I built up my collection. Um, and also I may do a upcoming video with um, maybe a beginner's guide to shopping at Bath & Body Works. If you've never shopped at Bath & Body Works or if you're not familiar with her fragrances. Um, so from, from, for myself, it was a little bit easier building up my collection because I was already um, familiar with a lot of their fragrances uh, like I've been shopping at Bath and Body Works on and off since the I would say mo mainly from the early 2000s um, and so um, yeah so I was already um, aware of a lot of their fine a lot of uh, aware of their fragrances out there like um, like I've always continued to buy their candles and so forth so yeah like for me I am like I said I'm familiar with a lot of their fr fragrances so for me when I built up my fine fragrance mist collection I was comfortable in doing so um, I knew exactly what type of pro scent profile uh, I have um, this summer, um, I wanted to expand a little bit more. Usually, I usually uh, stick with the uh, fall and, and winter fragrances, but this summer I decided to expand into spring and summer. And I actually like liked um, ended up liking uh, a lot of some of their um, s spring and summer fragrances, um, but um, like I said, right now I'm. I'm I'm comfortable with what's in my collection, so um, like so I'm just looking forward to the winter uh, to see what's going to be in store. Um, and like I said, I if if you guys are interested in that, let me know down below, and I can do an upgrade um, a video of my fine fragrance mist collection. Um, 
and what are my thoughts and so forth. Um, yeah, let me go. Let me know, guys. Um, so, anyways, enough of my babbling. Um, hope hope everybody's doing well, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye now.